Hi everyone, my name's Mad Matt Lugos and welcome to the Final Fantasy VII Remake. So if you've never watched one of my playthroughs before, I like to play single player story focused games where I can take my time, explore, and focus on the story and narrative aspects of the experience. So the intro for this video is going to be a little bit longer because I just want to go through my kind of history with the Final Fantasy series and what it means to me as these were pretty much the defining games of my childhood and adolescent years and I just want to just gush about how much I love the Final Fantasy series. In terms of the remake, I'm coming in as blind as humanly possible. When this got announced however many years ago, I made a very conscious decision to watch none of the build up, watch none of the uh, footage or anything like that. So I don't know what the combat's like, I don't know what the characters sound like. And yeah, I haven't watched trailers, I haven't played the demo. All I know is is that we're playing in Midgar, it's not the whole game, it's been chopped into a few pieces because the original was so big. And I've only seen the occasional screenshot of the main characters, so that's all I know. If you're not interested in my history of Final Fantasy, skip ahead 10 minutes. If you want, I'll leave a timestamp for that. So my first experience of Final Fantasy was actually Final Fantasy VII in 1997. Got my original copy for the PS1 here. Um, I was eight years old in 1997, believe it or not. One day my dad came home with this in his pocket. Um, one of the guys who used to work at his business, he used to work for him at his business, played a lot of games, and he, he brought this in with him one day and said that he didn't like this and that it was boring and that it was weird and maybe your Matt would like it. So probably an insult towards eight-year-old me but I'm glad that he did give, didn't like it because that meant he gave it to me because I had no idea about Final Fantasy up until that point however at eight years old this was a bit too much for me I had no idea what was going on and I got to the bit with Avalanche where you're supposed to blow up the reactor there's a boss fight in there and I couldn't get past it so that was kind of my end of my first experience with Final Fantasy VII. Um, it was just a bit too much for me, and I shouldn't have been playing this because this isn't meant for three to ten year olds. But never mind. Um, but it left a lasting impression on me, even it, even though I couldn't finish the game. So after that, a couple of years later, I was a bit older. That's when I picked up Final Fantasy VIII, and I was still a bit too young to really understand most of the systems in the game. But I did buy the game, I played the intro, I couldn't really get past the Ifrit fight at that age that you go to with Squall and Quistus. And, uh, but one day I was in the supermarket after school with my mum and sister and I was looking in the magazine section and one of the PlayStation magazines I'd attached on the front of it had a guide for Final Fantasy VIII and my eyes lit up, begged my mum to buy it for me and she did. And thanks to that guide, this was the first Final Fantasy I managed to play all the way through and I guess for that reason I have a bit I have probably have the most nostalgia for 8 because it's as sacrilegious as that is to say in a Final Fantasy 7 video it's just because it's the first one I played all the way through it's not because I think it's a better game I just have that bit of nostalgia for it um, and I think I like the kind of slightly more serious aesthetic to the way the characters were designed and stuff I kind of like that as well so after that um, a couple of years later or a year later was when I picked up Final Fantasy 9 and um, I kind of had a bit of a grasp, better grasp of Final Fantasies at this point when this came out in 2000. I was a grizzled 11 year old veteran of Final Fantasy at this point, I really wasn't but um, and you know this returned to a more, had a bit of a more of a playful vibe to it at, mo at certain points anyway, particularly with the lead characters, Zidane's a bit more playful, a bit more jovial isn't he, compared to Squall and compared to Cloud who, who are a bit more brooding kind of lead protagonists aren't they and the, you know the, the way the characters were designed and the um, and the party you had had more non-human characters like Quinna and Vivi dear Vivi and um, yeah I love Final Fantasy 9 you know it had a bit more of a simple leveling system just went back to experience points and gear and it was great really I remember I distinctly remember a lot of the cutscenes from the first disc they really stuck in my memory and uh, particularly the one with the petrifying forest, I love that cutscene. And the only negative with 9 was that I had to restart the game, you know, with memory cards and I only had one save slot for this thing like an idiot. 
and I got to the point where your party gets split in half after you get captured and you go to that place where the, you can't use magic and I took like three magic characters <laughs> and I couldn't get out and I had to restart the whole game and that was on like disc three that was devastating but uh, yeah love Final Fantasy 9 and it was at that point after I finished 9 that I decided I was ready to go back to Final Fantasy 7 so that's when I went back to 7 and played it all the way through and I experienced a great story, a story that has themes of you know industrialization, capitalism, greed, revolution, of you know traumas in the past, how they affect who you are, friendship, love, you know all the kind of things you expect in a Final Fantasy game about the kind of struggle between modernization and the rights of nature and things like that. And I love Final Fantasy Seven, Seven, Final Fantasy Seven. So that, and I played that all the way through after I'd finished nine and eight, and uh, I loved all I loved all three games. I don't really have a favourite, really. Like I said, I have more nostalgia for eight just because it was the first one I finished. But I love all three. They're all different, and they all have that kind of Final Fantasy magic about them. And then after seven, that's when I picked up Final Fantasy ten. The kind of, you know, it was a it divided opinion a little bit. I think purely because of the voice acting it can be a bit cheesy at times, but I love Final Fantasy VII. I think I have it on this, I put it on the same level as those three. Um, and I think objectively, I do think it is probably the best Final Fantasy, just in terms of it still looks good. It, I think the battle system is the most refined, the sphere grid is probably on par with the Materia system for being one of the best upgrade systems. It's really customizable. And I like the, st you know, the story in this is really emotional. And uh, the ending, I uh, still struggle to watch to this day. I think I've only experienced the ending maybe three times, twice playing it. And I watched once, I watched a, a YouTuber play it a few months ago. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, I like a good tragic ending and um, this ticks that box so I love Final Fantasy 10 as well and um, I can't remember where I've put Final Fantasy 12 but it's, it's up there somewhere that sounds disrespectful <laughs> Final Fantasy 12 was the first single player Square Enix Final Fantasy and I didn't enjoy that as much I still played it all the way through and, and enjoyed it but they, you know that was the first time they departed from a lot of the traditions you know no turn base no summons you couldn't explore the whole world it was only half the world and uh but all, all that didn't really matter i think the main problem was the, the characters were a little bit bland in 12 and they, they i think they brought over a lot of the mmo grind grind in the gameplay from final fantasy 11 and there's grind in all final fantasies but it felt a little bit different in 12. i still enjoyed it balthea was was uh very quick-witted and very interesting but didn't enjoy it as much so it was that point that i went backwards and that's when I, I went back and played Final Fantasy VI. So Final Fantasy VI is what a lot of die-hard fans of Final Fantasy would regard as the best one. Um, it's usually people go between six and seven as the best ones. And I can't really argue with that. Six is, is a fantastic game. It has a very wide cast of characters and it has arguably the best villain in all of Final Fantasy in Kefka. I think it's probably between Sephiroth and, and Kefka. They're probably the, the two most iconic villains. Sephiroth's probably a bit more iconic in terms of the way he looks, but I think Kefka's personality and the laugh is is perhaps a bit more iconic than, than Sephiroth. It's a toss-up. It's personal preference. I love Kefka and Sephiroth, but Kefka probably gets my nod slightly. But yeah, I love Final Fantasy VI. I mean, probably suffer, suffers a little bit from having too many playable characters. It's got a really big cast. I think the sweet spot is between 6 and 10, 6 and 8, maybe. Um, there's a lot in Final Fantasy VI, so it gets a little bit overwhelming trying to level everyone up. But love Final Fantasy VI. I would love to see this remade. I think this after they do everything they do with seven. I think they should remake six because it was a 2D game. So I think there'd be less, they'd, they'd have a lot more freedom with this, and there wouldn't be as much pressure from the fan base like there is with seven to 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 stay as true to some of the aesthetics from the original. After that, I went backwards again and uh, picked up the Final Fantasy anthology, and then I played Final Fantasy four, 
which was great. Um, it has more of a, a medieval theme to it, and yeah, I had a great time. Love the twins. Yeah, it was a, it was a great experience. And then I tried to play Final Fantasy V, but uh, I didn't really get past the, the intro to Final Fantasy V. I didn't like the class system, and the main thing I didn't like was the characters didn't have custom avatars, and so I didn't. They all had like these generic ones. I don't know whether that was just for this version, or whether it was like that in the original. But I didn't know what they looked like, and that's kind of part of how of how iconic each game is. Each each set of main characters have their own look and costume and, and feel and in in four and six there were you could see what they looked like in the menus even if you couldn't see what they were like in games so i didn't finish five i'd like to go back to it one day um, and since then i have tried to play the square enix final fantasies um, i've never owned a third generation console i was a poor university student when the ps3 came out in 2007 or 8 so i stuck to replaying the original ones so I have tried to play 13 on PC, I've got maybe 5 hours in and I struggle to enjoy it. You know, it's very, very linear and while Lightning is actually a pretty interesting character, the rest of the cast, it's just a, just a they're kind of caricatured and yeah, it just wasn't for me. I'd like to finish it one day. A lot of people say you have to beat, get through the first 20 hours and then it's a great experience, but that is a, it's a big commitment, but it's like that with a lot of games. You know, The Witcher 3 is my favourite game, but sometimes I feel like you need to get 10 hours into that before you really start enjoying it. I think it might be a similar thing with 13, so maybe I'll go back one day. Um, I haven't played either of the MMOs, so I've, I've never played 11 or 14. I know 14 is very uh, well loved. Uh, ever since it got re-released and it's yeah it's got a huge fan base now uh, i did play 15 at release but again i only got about five out five six hours in and it just didn't grip me as much i, I wish they would have done the full character cast of characters not just done four or kind of four guys you know i, I like there being a, mi a, a mix a mixed cast you know whether it's like a mix of, of male female and non-human characters like Red 13, Quina, that kind of thing. I like it being a mix. It so yeah, and I just I just didn't get far enough in. I'm sure it's a great game as well. I can't really have an opinion on 13 and 15 because I never finished them. So that leads me to Final Fantasy 7 Remake. That's my history of Final Fantasy. I love the Squaresoft era. I haven't really been into the Square Enix era as much. And I think that the remake will be a happy middle ground for me where It'll have the, the magic of the original cast and characters and story, but Square Enix will get to implement a lot of the things that they changed from the Squaresoft era games, like the gameplay mechanics, the, and we'll have a lot of new music, a, a more cinematic feel, the better graphics. So I think this will be a happy medium. I'm not coming in with any biases. I'm not going to be someone who is going, oh, that's different from the original. I want this to be different. I don't want this to be the same. If I want to experience the original Final Fantasy, then guess what? I will play the original Final Fantasy. I hope this will be a fresh experience, and I'm very excited, and I'm a bit nervous, but I'm really looking forward to it, so. This has, got, uh, this has been more like a 15 minute intro, but if I maybe sound like someone you want to come along on the journey with, then I hope you'll join me for fi the Final Fantasy VII Remake, maybe as you're playing it yourself, or if you're seeing it for the first time with me let me know your history of final fantasy i always love talking about final fantasy games with other people um, let me know what your favorite is or was let me know what your first experience was of final fantasy your favorite characters your favorite villains do you like kefka or sephiroth who's your favorite and um, i do have a soft spot for sorceress idea even though she's not really a villain she's not the main villain it's ultimacia but yeah let me know your thoughts and your experiences with Final Fantasy, and now we'll get into the game finally. Okay, I'm ready to go. Got the settings set up. Just let me know. I do have a Final Fantasy VII themed background here. That's just it's just Meteor, but I'll just stick to the, the generic channel one there. Okay, so what camera controls? Yeah, default. I can't do inverted anymore. Um. Okay. Classic, there's no hard. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, so the player control character will attack and defend automatically, allowing you to focus on executing commands. The battle difficulty is the same as easy. Ugh. <laughs> uh, I, I want to experience what they've changed, so I'm going to go on normal. I would like to play on hard, but there is no hard, so let's go with normal. Wow, Midgar is huge. I'm shocked at how big Midgar is. There it is. That got me a little emotional. <laughs>
Get down here, Merc. Oh my god. I can't believe it, man. I did not anticipate Midgar being this big. I did not anticipate this. Let's go, Barrett. Halt! Who goes there? You're up. Okay, square attack. Hold square to unleash an attack capable of hitting multiple enemies. Uh, circle to evade, R1 to guard, L1 for command shortcuts. Triangle is punisher mode, and X for commands menu. So is it like a mix of real time and? You're coming with us, nice and easy. Don't think so. Not bad. Oh. <laughs> Do we pick up stuff? So I forgot to say, I haven't played the original Final Fantasy VII for, mate, for at least 10 years. I think I last replayed it when I was maybe 20 years old. I'm 31 now. Who in the hell? Hands where I can see them! Have fun. The ATB gauge fills as time passes and by attacking with square. Once a bar is full, your character can perform special actions. Charges can be used immediately or saved. Try attacking the enemy to fill the gauge. L R3 is lock on. Freeze! Move and we shoot! Go ahead. Okay, that's half full. You can expend the ATB gauge charges to perform battle commands such as using abilities, magic or items. Press X to try using one of the commands. Enough of this. Abilities Braver. Let's go. Can I jump? The main menu and map. When not in battle, you can check the map, open menus, and view various kinds of information. Use the options button to open the main menu. Press the pad to access the map and check your various objectives. When the double up icon appears, move your character close to it to automatically jump, crouch, or perform whatever other action is required. The main menu you can view your inventory and gameplay status as well as save and load your game. Okay, battle settings, enemy intel, spells, we've got fire spells, we've got seven potions and one ether. Ether, ether, I never know how to pronounce it. So we've got a buster sword, bronze bangle, uh, magic defense and defense are the same. Okay. And okay. And then this is the map. On the map screen you can check your current scenario objective and view the lay of the land. Yes, Wedge. Guarding and evading. You can defend against enemy attacks by pressing R1 to guard or circle to evade. A successful guard reduces the amount of damage suffered and also 
charges your all oh, right okay so you can fill it up with defensive actions as well you're coming with us can't get surrounded it's dark souls try harder Nope. No, you don't. Okay, let's try focus thrust. Oh. What are you doing? Is it directional block? It is as well. Okay, so we have to block directionally. It's not just like a... Try a fire. Burn. That it? Wow. Uh, let's just see how much a potion heals. Is it 200? No. Man, the music is just spot on, isn't it? It's just so spot on. I don't know how much to explore. Sorry if I'm having to take my time in the menus. I haven't played the demo or anything. Use triangle to open chests or doors, or to talk to people. If you see the word hold, then you need to hold down triangle rather than just pressing it. Got you. Two potions. How are we going to control the other characters then? Will they be on like an automatic? Ah, oh, I thought you could hide. Some grenades, nice. I wonder if we're gonna, how we're going to get to control Barrett and the others, whether it'll be they go on like a gambit system maybe kind of like in 12 if you find boxes with the shinra logo press square to smash them with your sword they may contain useful items such as potions that restore hp or mako shards that restore mp i do have a shinra t-shirt <laughs> but because i've got my camera reversed you can never really read it so i'll, I'll wear that <laughs> in a future episode so these are shinra it's got that i've got a t-shirt with that symbol on Oh, that's not... Did I, did I pick the items up? Oh man, I want to play as Barret so bad. Alright, oh, okay. Okay, I keep going to press jump. Can we talk to... So what's Soldier Boy's deal? Is he one of us now? He's got balls, this... Uh, uh, what was his name again? Cloud. Cloud Strife. Right. And he isn't a soldier anymore. Still, he's a professional, unlike the rest of us. I'm glad to have him. <laughs> this is a one-time gig. When it's done, we're done. Uh, uh, uh. Sounds great, man. Really Gonna end up with, like, ridiculous yeah, hair too. envy for this entire playthrough, aren't I? That's the one thing I hate about That's playing JRPGs is the hair envy. <laughs> Can I talk to him? Yes, I will, big man. Alright. We talk to him again. Wow. They've almost got the door. Why are you guys wearing, like, Medieval plate. I can't remember what their original it. costumes were. Man, I think I'm gonna be sick. You'll keep us safe. Okay, he's repeating right? himself now. All right, Barrett, do you trust me yet, dude? No. Come on, nobody do something this crazy just for money. They may not think you're a true believer, but you know what I think? Not interested. What? So much sass, Cloud. <laughs> Which? Uh... <sighs> you better be worth the money, Merc. Every last gill. He's got a so slight southern twang to his accent. It's not over the top, though. Right, 
right, so how much can we explore? Okay, so it's kind of pseudo. I'm expecting the level design to be a little bit like, oh, a little bit like Nier Automata, where it's kind of open but gated, kind of like a mix. Kind of, God of War was a bit like that as well, wasn't it? You can press R3 to lock onto a specific target. Press R3 again to unlock. While locked onto a target, you can use the right stick or the um, arrows to switch between multiple targets. Get him, boy! Oh, oh! Guess you're first. <laughs> We've got a grenade, haven't we? Yeah, let's try a grenade on this poor dog. Heads up! Okay, that was that was a terrible idea. Oh, we got him though. Yeah, this guy, this dog is tough. Let's try a focus thrust. Oh! So they, they can actively dodge some of the attacks, so the, the speed that some of them come out in um, is important. So we are going to have to use timing for certain things. Hey! Oh, another dog? Do they just keep refreshing? Is that it? Oh, he just keeps coming, dude. Try this. Am I supposed to move on here? What's punisher right. mode? Okay, so that's a strong attack. Yeah, okay. Was okay. never in doubt. I can't hear you. <laughs> uh, did I miss a chest? Do, uh, do the chests appear on the map? Oh, I need to remember about these. Okay, that's our way up. Any more chests? Ah, this is awesome, man. You know, when you just, you just, you just don't know what it's going to be like and then it's just, gets, gets all the feelings you'd hoped it would give you. A Moogle medal. Hello? I thought there was a dog then. Thanks guys. Huh. Not so fast. We've got company. Oh, of course. Captain Pedal Pushers, right. Job's a job. You guys are easy enough, it's the dogs that give me the trouble. Come on. I'm waiting. Uh oh. Okay. Let's heal up. All good. <laughs> okay, there's a. Oh, I used. Oh, so you have to use the ATB gauge for, for items. Yeah, of course. Oh, no, you don't, sir. Come on. Yeah, health's getting a bit low. So I'm guessing you can't guard in, in this mode. Here it comes. See ya. 
Okay, let's heal up. I think it maybe does 400 on heals. Any more items? Don't think so. Thank you. Oh man, nothing. Okay, where have uh, this will be a fight in here, I think. I know a boss room. Hey guys! Whatever. Never in doubt. Okay. Some more potions. Not everything's destructible. So it's what's going to be interesting is we're going to get to see Midgard during the day, aren't we? So we saw a bit in the intro, which is uh, going to be awesome. Staying here, dude. Fair enough. Oh, okay, I know where we are now. I think. Yeah. Soldiers may attack on command, but I hear they make good guard dogs too. Bet you've seen a few reactors. So how do we get to the bridge above Mako storage? <sighs> Ain't holding out on me, are you? Stamp scared to bite the hand that fed him? Or is he a loyal little doggy? <clears throat> Have it your way, Mutt. We can do this with you, or we can do this without you. Different reactor, different layout. Depends when it was built. Never seen one like this, but I'll manage. Okay, Barrett's a little over the top, but he's supposed to be, isn't he? He was always doing like lots of gestures and over the top stuff, wasn't he? Hello, Don't Jess. Don't you worry. Biggs will have the door open soon. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. Okay. In three, two. Damn, I'm good. <laughs> Who's there? Door. We get trapped on our own. Oh, wait. It's over. That's my line. <laughs> Cloud's unique ability switching modes. Every character has a unique ability which you can activate with triangle. I tried it out already. With Cloud's mode shift ability, you can switch between his balanced operator mode and his attack oriented punisher mode. Press triangle to try it out. He's alone. Hang on. We can take it. Oh, hang on. Make it run. In Punisher mode, Cloud moves more slowly, but Square unleashes more powerful a more powerful attack than usual. In addition, Cloud launches a counter blow every time he guards against an enemy's melee attack. He cannot, however, guard against ranged attacks or magic. When you evade such attacks, it will switch back to operator mode. So if we dodge, it switches back. We can't. We can block melee attacks, but we can't block ranged attacks. Got ya. Oh my god, just wrecking shop. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're back. Then let's move. He always knows just what to say. Stupid boxes, right. I got this place covered. Simmer down, hot shot. <laughs> Simmer down, hot hey, Barra, I just, I just want to get to know you better, man. All right. It's a good thing I know someone who can get us the passcodes. <sighs> Pity no one else at command will talk to us, but what can you do? <sighs> and we're good. Careful in there. <clears throat> well, what are you waiting for? 
I get you guys are far too confident. Oh, Phoenix down, nice. Hey, Barrett. Security is only going to get tighter, so be ready. We can't afford any more mistakes. Security is only okay. going to get tighter, so be ready. We can't afford. Looks like the elevator's on another floor. Mind pushing that button? Okay. <laughs> so, you know Tifa, right? It's not really my business, but. Are you guys close? It's already getting flashbacks. Tifa and I. appear to call themselves Avalanche, sir. We are currently investigating whether they belong to the same group that made the attempt on your life. Rest assured, our inquiries will not take much longer. <laughs> this pump's sole purpose is to drain the planet dry. While you sleep, while you eat, while you shit, it's here sucking up Mako. It doesn't rest, and it doesn't care! You do realize what Mako is, don't you? Mako is the lifeblood of our world. The planet bleeds green like you and me bleed red. The hell you think's gonna happen when it's all gone, huh? Answer me! You gonna stand there and pretend you can't hear the planet crying out in pain? I know you can! You really hear that? Damn straight I do. Get help. <laughs> Say that again. <clears throat> I'd worry less about the planet and more about the next five seconds. Save the screaming for later. So much sass cloud. Our lives are on the line now. You listening, Merc? One false move. And that happens. Well, so much for having Cloud do all the fighting. There are some places a sword just can't reach. <laughs> just bear with him for me, would you? <sighs> yeah. Should have asked for more money. <laughs> okay, Barrett's strengths. Barrett specializes in ranged attacks. Holding down square releases a sustained burst of automatic weapon fire when equipped with a ranged weapon. Barrett can fire from safe locations and hit enemies that Cloud cannot reach with his sword. Okay, L2 and R2 issue commands to allies. We can switch characters. Gonna throw your sword at him? Let the man with the gun go to work. These tin cans ain't got nothing on me. Damn it! Suck on me! I'm waiting. Focus shot. Fire it one off!
press triangle when in control of Bar Barret to deliver a heavy hitting attack that fills a large portion of his ATB gauge. Once unleashed, it takes a long time to recharge this attack. Pressing triangle, however, will speed up the process. Now for the real show. Okay, so it's like a cock in a shotgun. You can switch to different characters depending on the battle situation. You can also stick with the same character and issue orders to party allies. Use up, down or left, right to switch characters. Use L2 and R2 to issue commands to allies. Shut up and move over. You got that? That's that. Let's okay. go. This is gonna get pretty complicated, isn't it? Issuing commands and stuff and but I mean, we have. Is it? Is it? It is like a bit of a pause when that menu comes up. All right, uh, where are we going? We're going that way. So let's just have a look around for some items. Oh no, that's where we're going. Jesse's down there. Let's just check we didn't miss anything. No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, we can sprint. L3 sprint. Got Look it, Jess. Here. The laser security system. Great. Those things will hurt more than your pride if you're careless. They'll cut you down to size and then some. But I'm guessing you've done this kind of thing before. Yeah. Figure out the timing of the lasers, then make a move when they cycle off. Exactly. I'll go first. Nothing like a little danger to get the blood pumping. Hey! Just keep those baby blues of yours on me. <laughs> okay. You can move around outside of battle more quickly by holding R1 or R2 to dash. Or you can press L3 once to keep dashing until you stop moving. Okay, some mild platforming. Oh, do we have to be responsible for Barrett as well? Jess. Oh. Well, okay, nearly went then. Sorry, Barrett. Is he taking damage from that? There we go. Yes, thank you. Barra, dude. Sorry, mate. <laughs> for nothing. They can wipe out a whole squad in seconds. Not if you wipe the floor with them first. Okay, is this the first boss fight? 
Ha! We can take this hunk of junk! That hunk of junk is a heavy weapons platform. If we rush in, we die. Is that right? Need to hit it with magic. That should give us an opening. Time to burn. Okay, staggering enemies. Hitting enemies with certain attacks or dealing large amounts of damage will temporarily knock them off balance and pressure will appear underneath their gauge. When this happens... Okay. When this happens, pelt them with spells and abilities to quickly fill their stagger gauge under their life bar. Once it's full, you can stagger them. The gauge fills faster depending on the abilities and magic used, as well as the foes of vulnerabilities. Find the most effective attack to quickly finish off each enemy. Hey! It's not moving! Let's pin it down. Give it all you've got. Here it comes. Yeah. Yeah. Going, yeah. 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 Of course. He just had to get back up. So we knock it down again. No time to complain. No escape. Enemies who've been staggered are defenseless and take more damage. Using unique abilities on a staggered foe will quickly boost your ATB gauge. Boosting your ATB gauge quickly so you can unleash more abilities and spells. Now's our chance. Go! Don't need to tell me twice. I'm gonna enjoy this. Oh, I need to be within range. Here we go. Being bound, some enemies will occasionally bind your party members with unblockable attacks. If your character is bound and unable to act, quickly switch to a different character. Got anything you want to say? <sighs> Funny way to ask for help. Fire in one off. You got this. I got this. Let's do this. It's on now. <laughs> Got him. What are you? What is up? First. Soldier first class. Doesn't go into the 20s. What the hell are you talking about? I mean your age, not your goddamn rank. I, uh... <clears throat> Though for all I know, a soldier's rank could be the same as his age. Mm -hmm. Guess that make you a one-year-old, huh? Live and learn. Let's uh, top off Barrett. So we can see Cloud's memory loss already setting in. Are these explosives? Let's not hit them and find out. Alright, um. Doesn't look like there's any little side areas, does it? Okay. Let's go, Jess. So it's interesting because because this is all taking place in Midgar, that obviously means we're not going to get to control certain characters because they don't show up in Midgar. Like, um, we, I don't think we get to control uh, Red 13, or obviously we're not going to get to control Kate Sith, are we? Or Vincent, or uh, Yuffie. Yuffie? Yuffie? I don't know. That's our target, the reactor core. Gotta set the bomb at the bottom. 
Okay. That is a giant boss arena. <laughs> okay. Let's go, Baron. Can we slide? God damn. Yes, R2. I can practically taste tobacco in here. Hurry it up. Oh, hang on. Scared, huh? <laughs> More like excited, yeah, me too, Barrett. Me, me too, Barrett. <laughs> ah, this is mad, isn't it? This is mad. Heads up, boys. The end's in sight. Leave the rest in your capable hands. Good luck. Not that way. Down the ladder, dummy. All right, I was just exploring, Jess. Oh, you're choosing me over the reactor? That's sweet, but I'll wait my turn. Go blow her mind. <laughs> Go on, shoo. Oh, you're choosing me over the reactor? That's sweet, but I'll wait my turn. Yeah, so I wonder if there's going to be some extra characters maybe to play, or whether we're just going to get the tight group. Topped off health wise. Um, got any Mako boxes? You think if we fell in, we sink right down to the bottom? To the planet's core? No. The pump would suck us back up. <laughs> How comforting. <laughs> Yes, I did. Alright. So there's going to be a fight here and a fight there, it looks like. Stamp really can bite the hand that feeds. Hmm. Go on, do the honors. Prove to me you're the man Tifa says you are. That you're one of us. Never said I was. I'm just here for the paycheck. Then do the damn job! the timer. Your call, Merc. Uh, we, we need to rescue um, Wedge, right? 
Did where jump is? We need to rescue one of them, right? And it's an optional thing. I don't know if they're going to do that here. I'm going to put 30 minutes just because I haven't played the demo or anything. So I don't know what this boss fight is going to be like. I'm going to, I'm going to take the soft option here. I'm going to go 30 minutes. Huh. That long enough for you? Oh, chastise me, Barrett. Huh? You double crossing! Heads up! What in the hell? Oh god. Is this thing weak to hey, fire as well? How do we fight this thing? It's got reinforced armor plating, but the internals can be overloaded. Lightning magic. Huh. No well, other option, huh? huh? Does, does uh, Barrett have lightning? Yeah, he does. Hell yeah! You see the damage that did? Keep it up. Here it comes. Here we go. Yeah, let's try a braver. We shoot the rockets. Hang on, hang on. I'm supposed to be using thunder. Field general. It didn't work. Where's the field general? Weak spot. Okay. Let's take a focus shot on that. Damn pain in the ass! If we don't change it up soon, this thing's gonna kill us both! Less talking, more shooting. How about less miss from you? God damn it! This thing is tough! Okay, it needs to be Barrett. Keep it together. Get off! <laughs> Don't just stand there. Help me out, damn it! Okay. You good? Not as good as I'd be if you'd actually tried to help me out. Let's try the weak spot. Focus. Oh, 
Find a way. Damn it. No good. <laughs> Swing it a bit. There's gotta be a weak point somewhere. Then hurry the hell up and find it. Okay, I think Go I need to, to just turn. use a, a thunder on on that weak point. Hell yeah, baby! Now's our chance. Give it everything you've got. to the weak, weak spot. Shot on the weak spot. Way too many potions. Focus. Get ready. Okay, not looking too hot here. Taking damage and staggering enemies fills your limit gauge. Okay, when the limit gauge when the gauge is full, you can use limit break attacks, which are extremely powerful attacks. Yeah. You do not need to spend ATB charges to use this attack. So whose gauge is full? Hang on, let's just make sure we're in the right range. Is it still reduced damage? Yeah, it's still reduced, man, you idiot. Oh, you're in for it now! Just Can Barrett shoot them. Watch 
the tail. You don't want to be hit by that laser. Huh? So what do we do? Don't get hit. Take cover behind that debris. Oh no. I didn't realize it meant run forwards. Oh yeah! I've been waiting for this! It's wide open! Gonna light it up! Hang on, let's just heal Barrett first. Fire in the hole. Gonna throw your ass straight to hell. You can keep going if I heal up. Hang back. Here it comes. Okay, this is the last potion I'm using on Barrett. Gotta memorize the attack patterns. Damn it. Hey, he's doing that thing again. Find cover and hunker down. <laughs> again and again and again. Oh wait, I've got cures. Sure could use a breaker. Bring it home. Taking over. I didn't realize I had cure spells. So what are we trying to take out? The legs. It's on you. Yes, it's my turn. When I get my chance, I'm gonna blow this bastard the hell up! And that's a problem! Right. Uh, I need to heal Cloud. Hang back. Gotta time our attacks just right. Hold out until you spot an opening. One leg. Follow my lead. No time let's, to uh, waste. Let's get let's cheeky take it out Little pick me up. Let me get this shot off quick. When you are. Here we go. It's over. No. Oh. I was try hard in that. It's a bomb with this thing. Shit, the ball.
<laughs> you hear that? Damn thing showed you how it's done. Come on, we've got to move. Okay, we're on the clock now. I need to remember to rescue someone. I can't necessarily remember who it is. Can we get through there? No. We need to rescue someone. I don't care what the. I can't remember what you uh, what you get for doing it quicker, but. We need to rescue someone. Is it Wedge? I think it's Wedge. Let's do this. See ya. Not bad. Let's go. So I think I just need to keep my eye on the map for if we, if we do still have to rescue someone. If I'm remembering correctly, I'm sure it's Wedge we have to rescue, and he can, he does actually die if you don't rescue him. I seem to remember. Oh, Jesse. Where is it, Jesse? Oh, parkour. Where is she? Where was she? Where did she go? Oh, she's up here. Do I look okay? Help a girl out, would you? I sense a quick time event. Oh no, maybe not. <laughs> My hero. Hey, we'll link up over there. Look after Jesse. Come this way. This route should lead us straight to Baron. Probably. <laughs> Probably. Sorry if I sucked at that boss fight. It's very chaotic. It's more chaotic than I don't know. It all it all flows really well though. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It, it's just I think when you bat, going from game to game, it's the dodging timings that are all always very different from game to game that you need to get used to. Hopefully, I'll get better with the combat. We're running out of time. It's all right. Okay. Not Sorry, it just it keeps me focused. I'll freak out if I don't talk. <laughs> That's Barrett. Glad I realised that Barrett had cure spells. That was uh, really helpful. Barrett! I've got you covered. Find us a way out of here. But then. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I've got Soldier Boy with me. X, Soldier Boy. They're here! Take them down! We don't have time for this shit! The clock's ticking! Cool. Five seconds is all we need. just for the escape it's just yeah look how much they had to create for this man Really low on health here. No escape. Keep it together. Yes, it's my turn. <laughs> Up. 
Switch back. Chest. We're on the clock here. The pepper. Oh, I don't know. I, it's weird because you, when you play a game that nothing is spoken in all those years ago, and then you go to actually say some of the things in the, the words and the names and stuff. Pepper. I'm just going to say pepper. Boxes. The camera's a little tight at times. Nice potions. More potions. Shock Trooper. Get ready. Okay, I, I need to use quick attacks. No, it's just the one of them. Must have missed it. Let's 
Get healed up. Whoa. Right, I've not missed the rescue, have I? I'm terrified of missing that. I don't want to miss that at all. Tell me I missed the rescue. Sir. Stop us escaping. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Jess. Can you walk, Mom? If I couldn't, believe me, you'd be the first to know. I'll take that as a yes. We all got Looks out. like we made it. And with nothing but a few scratches to show. <laughs> Think you might have overdone it. I followed the instructions to the letter. Maybe it triggered a reaction with the Mako? Well, let's hope the city's still in one piece. But the planet's what matters, right? <laughs> I mean, this must have helped some. After all that, it had better have. Anyway, let's get going. We in Sector 8? That'd be just down there. All right, then. Lead the way. You got it. Huh. Watch out for live wires. They're everywhere. Okay, guys. Um, I think I'm going to leave that one there. What an amazing start to the remake. I just, I didn't think that Midgar was going to be so big. I just, I, I didn't think it was going to be that immensely big and just like a full, huge city. Like a, I don't know, has it got a day-night cycle? Uh, how open is it going to be? How, how much are we going to be able to explore? Yeah, and they're just the all just that intro. It just got me more really emotional because I didn't know how big Midgar was going to be, just in terms of how much it was realized. You know, like sweeping through the streets and stuff. Then it was just such a sense of scale, and uh, the characters sound great. Like Cloud sounds like really smooth. Doesn't sound too over dramatic. Barrett is dramatic, but he was supposed to be like that, isn't he? Um, so it's not too much it's a little bit over the top but that you know it's still it's just Barrett that's just that's 
pretty true to his character, isn't it? Um, the combat's awesome. I hope. Sorry if I sucked a bit with the combat. You know, I've got to learn it, haven't I? So, but you know, I got I got it through. I didn't die. Um, I just wish I would have realised Barrett had cures a bit earlier. But it's very chaotic, so I've, I'm gonna have to focus a bit. I'm not always great with fast-paced games, but you know, we can. There are active pauses and stuff, so we can kind of take stock when we need to. Um, the dodging feels a little slow. It's, it's reminding me of how the dodge felt in God of War, where there was like a dodge and then the double dodge, and it, it always felt a little slow. So I'll have to get used to the dodging. Being, I think it's more about iframes than it is about getting out of the way. I could be wrong, I'm not sure. Maybe let me know. Well, let me know your thoughts on, on, the, on the start of the remake. What you think of it? The music's spot on. You know, everything feels like it's been recreated with, with real love. So I, I'm really pleased. I had no idea what it was going to look like. So outside of, you know, shots of the characters, like you can see Cloud here. So yeah, I'm quite taken back, taken aback. So I'm not sure what else to say, but uh, I hope you enjoyed the start to the Final Fantasy VII Remake. Let me know your thoughts. Um, Maybe leave me a like if you enjoyed it, if you're enjoying the remake as well. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe so you can join me here in Clan Drummond. Just remember everybody, never trust an on crate. Right, I'll see you back in Midgar.